Good morning. It is eight weeks out today. Uh, I start with my coach in two days and basically full coaching from Wes. Um, super cool, super chill guy. Um, but yeah, two more days until I get coached. So two more days on my own. And then, um, yeah, so the next video you see, I will have um, set routines and stuff to be following from a coach. I also got these. I got these in the mail, um, posing trunks, so now instead of posing in underwear or a speedo, I can actually pose in the correct trunks, and then, um, yeah, woke up this morning at 1, what does it say, 163.2, which isn't good, but I'll tell you why I actually did that, um, I mean, it's not bad, but I'll tell you why that happened here, and, um, just a brief moment after I grab some food so I can eat and tell the story at the same time. Today, we have breakfast, popping a fish oil, bottle of water, plate of eggs, I usually don't have carbs in the morning. I usually eat those a little bit later, um, but I'm gonna go to the gym first thing after I eat this, so I'm gonna have two slices of toast and a remainder of these, which is two um, rice cakes. The reason I woke up heavier rather than um, lighter is because I hurt my back. When you get injured, your body holds water a lot more to try to kind of like saturate that area of your body to make it heal faster. So. I messed up my SI joint and what was going on was I was doing leg press and then I was at the very bottom of the rep and I heard a loud pop like a pow and then I I freaked out because I thought I like slipped a disc or bulged a disc or something and I got up it didn't hurt immediately so I was like okay maybe I just like cracked my back like normal you know and then it started hurting really bad after I stood up for a minute or two, and so I was like, fuck. So, stopped hitting legs. That was my third exercise, by the way, so I was a little upset. Um, so I stopped hitting legs, went to bed. When I got home, did some cupping therapy to myself. If you want to know how to do that, I can show you guys in the next video. Um, but, yeah. So I went to the chiropractor the next morning. He said, I should be fine in about two weeks tops. So, yeah, nothing too serious, but, you know, got to take the necessary precautions so that I don't hurt myself even further. Um, yeah, so let me eat this breakfast and then off to do quad extensions, basically. <laughs> Stop drinking your monsters right before your workout and drink them an hour before your workout because otherwise your veins will be constricted, your pump will be shit, and overall your the maximum amount of muscle you can build is literally like slapped in half. So listen to me. God damn. Alright, what's going on guys? Um so basically today I'm taking you through a little leg workout, a little voiceover for it. Um, nothing too crazy, nothing too special, obviously. Earlier in the video you heard me say that I can't really do um, squats in particularly uh, heavy back squats um, because of my back. So uh, I decided to do these as a warm up, mostly because somebody was on the machines I was going to start with. But you know, these didn't aggravate me at all and it felt really good. Um, so basically yeah, I'd grab a, uh, I grabbed an 8 or 10 pound little kettlebell and decided to do goblet squats or front squats with them and you know essentially I'd go down nice and slow and squeeze my glutes and my quads super hard on the lockout. Now that was essentially all I did was do that to get a nice squeeze and nice uh, nice stretch so 
Yeah. And second off, I did <clears throat> uh, split squats with the same kettlebell. So eight to 10 pounds. I'm not exactly sure which one it was, but I used the, uh, the pull on the side there to make sure I was upright the whole time. So I had no down pressure on my back. It only really hurts when I bend over more than uh, a couple degrees, so it wasn't too bad, nothing too serious. Uh, stay upright and, you know, so I'd grab, a, uh, grab the speaker on the other side because there was no pole and the wall was too far back. So, yeah, really just digging deep with these, getting a good stretch on that back quad and a good squeeze on that front one. So, yeah, nothing too serious, just getting blood in the legs before I move on to the next exercise. And every single one of these clips, by the way, is sped up about 150, 160%. So nothing too serious, but enough to get it done and over with so that it doesn't take up 90% uh, of the video. And so on quad extensions here, I did one leg at a time just to really isolate a little bit. You see I switch legs there. Um, just to really squeeze the quad, get as much blood in there as possible. Did about five sets of this. And at the very end, did a burnout with both legs. So, get as much blood in there as humanly possible. And yeah. Now, I don't know if you saw that or not, but you will hear in a second. I put the fat grips on the handles for the uh, hamstring curl, basically to get a little bit of forearm work in while I'm here. Um, doing hamstring curls one leg at a time to isolate as much as possible. For these, I really try to dig my butt or push my butt in to the pad so that it takes my glutes out of the movement. And sometimes I lift my knee up off the pad a little bit just to get that extra little squeeze in the, uh, in the hamstring to get that full range of motion. Uh, full ROM, every single set, every, uh, every exercise, best way to build muscle. Use a moderate amount of weight, enough to stimulate the muscle. And seated calf raises here, I did about five, six sets of all these exercises. Um, put the fat grips on this again, just to really, you know, hone in on those forearm gains that I'm trying to get. Uh, really squeezing these. Calves are a little weird, you gotta work them more consistently and do them correctly, because if you bounce, it's not gonna do any good for you. You gotta let them stretch down at the bottom and hold the squeeze at the top for a second or two. And you know, that's really helped my calves come up a little bit. Been trying to hit them two, two times a week, three times a week. Uh, Cause you know, you walk on your calves all the time. So they're being used every single day, regardless whether you like it or not. But if you're trying to grow them, you gotta hit them with the weight and you know, get that stretch and that squeeze it's most important for every single exercise you do in the gym is that stretch and that squeeze that's how you gain the most muscle humanly possible now I did these donkey uh, seated calf uh, raises I guess you could say and again fat grips on everything um, switching over to arms uh, I couldn't do too much for legs obviously that was about the extent that I could go without my back hurting so now we switched over to arms I did about five to six sets of each of these exercises like I said um, this is I think my last set of curls get that full range of motion full stretch hard squeeze at the top and uh, yeah preacher curl machines fun uh, tricep push downs with the straight bar really trying to work on my triceps pretty pretty hard because uh, I feel like my arms are a lacking point for my overall physique, so I've been hitting arms pretty hard. Uh, I don't have a specific arm day. Um, I just kind of throw in arm exercises whenever I can, and triceps especially. So full range of motion, every single thing. Overhead tricep extensions. Uh, these I went a little bit heavier on just to kind of build a little bit more mass because I'm eating a little bit more carbs because I decided to measure my rice as if it was uh, uncooked before so yeah
okay, I got 30 to 40 minutes of cardio now, and then uh, I'm gonna go with Evan to Costco, and we're gonna get a little bit of food, because I am running low, and so I need to get some food. He wants Shamrock too. Make sure you leave that. I will. I've done 40 every other day this week, so I said, frick that. Fair enough. After cardio, I'm going to tan too, so. You still have cardio to do? Yeah. Hi, how's it going? It's not supposed to be green. <laughs> this is Evan. He's the one who filmed the last video and most of this video for me. So I just wanted to give Evan another little shout out. What is this? <laughs> Fuck, I can't get paid. A hundred grams of rice and I think just, it was like just under six ounces of chicken. And this is the most rice I've had at once in like, weeks. If you know me, you know I still like Legos because I'm still a child at heart. So I had to buy this. It was really cheap. You'd be surprised. This, this you would think is like, oh my god, that's a $50 plus set. 25 bucks, dude. So yeah, I got this. Put this together tomorrow. And I'm gonna eat this food and I'm gonna stop talking so I can actually eat it. And then Alyssa's gonna come over and help me shave my legs so that I look all pretty and shit. So I would like for it to be known that literally immediately following the chicken and rice that I ate, I ran downstairs, made 13 ounces of tilapia, and ate two oranges. So literally, it's been about 20 minutes since I uh, ate that. And I ate that about however much time it took to cook the tilapia, so. This is the first time I've felt like satiated and full in so long. She came to help me shave my legs because I'm still a noob and I haven't done it enough. I've done it once with her help, so technically I have never done it by myself. Um, so I'm gonna do the first little Shave with the electric, electric razor, one. and then she's gonna come and help me get all the little baby hairs away After she eats her yogurt with a fork with a fork because <laughs> she's dumb dumb Thank you very much You're welcome Oh Oh my god! All cleaned up. Um, shout out to Alyssa for helping me. Um, I'm gonna eat one more thing before I go to bed. It'll probably just be rice cakes and uh, peanut butter. So that'll pretty much just be it. And then that'll be the end of the video. So thank you guys for watching. Um, tell them to like and stuff. Smash that like button.